Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. I'm leaving tomorrow, which technically feels like today because I need to go to the airport at 3 a.m. Meaning I have to wake up at like 2, 2.30. So it doesn't feel like tomorrow, it feels like tonight. So today is about to be a super long day. Just waiting to go in. I'm like 10 minutes early, so I'm just gonna chill in the car for a little bit, but get my COVID test and then get back home, finish packing. I did the majority of it last night, so it shouldn't take too long. And then my parents are gonna drop me off at the train station because I just discovered the train. I'm gonna train to <laughs> Rachel's and sleep there tonight. I don't know how much slept is going slept i don't know how much sleep is going to be had by a miracle i could be asleep by nine that's asking for too much ten that would be good a nice little four hour nap before this flight but get ready for a long day i forcefully woke up and like got out of bed super early so that i'm tired earlier tonight i think i'm gonna go in get this test i did not realize how crazy my hair was i just kind of like showered and left um it's fine okay i'm back and i'm negative my hair today yeah it was so quick he just like gave me this piece of paper which i thought was my receipt maybe so i'm like okay how am i gonna know like are you guys gonna email me or call me he's like no it's, it's done it's right here and it was just like so quick but anyways i needed to get a razor and i usually am just keen to getting like men's razors and like not really caring but this just looked like really cute it's just like mint and gold which are my two favorite colors even back when i had my beauty business like those were my colors um, it's called Flamingo. Never heard of this brand before, so I thought I'd check it out. And it take it has two heads, so that'll last me a while. I feel like I change heads every month, so that's like two months worth of shaving. Um, and then I also got, which is organic. There's organic ingredients, so I'm happy. There's organic coconut oil, organic. I know it's not jojoba oil. What is it? Oh. Hajoba, Jehovah oil. Fuck man, I'm butchering that. Organic Shia butter, so that's cool. It's by Physicians Formula. They had tinted ones, but they look like very tinted. This one's just like not tinted. But, ooh. Oh my God, it literally just feels like I put coconut oil on my lips. This is amazing. And it's not just like, like it goes on like this, but then it twists and like closes. So it won't ever like open in your purse. I'm going to be, this is how crazy like this super early flight is. And I purposely picked an early flight because I just love, like I love being at the airport super early in the morning. Like I don't know what it is, like being in the airport when it's still dark out. Oh, love that. So this is a little hard to film, but finally starting to feel normal again. Yesterday was the longest day of my life. And it's so funny because I was posting on my Instagram story that I, like I had been up since two in the morning 
and it was like 10 a.m. or something and everyone's like oh my god like where are you going like as if I'm going somewhere so far um it's like no just Texas but yeah yesterday was a lot um even down to timing I somehow was almost late for everything um I felt like I was doing things so <laughs> so early to be like ahead of schedule and yeah that just backfired but yesterday just got back didn't give myself like the pressure to unpack or anything um i just took a shower did some yoga uh we made some dinner and went for a walk last night's walk was so nice it is very hot here like i don't even know if it gets this hot in the summer in canada um i'm not very aware with like fahrenheit but um it's like 34 degrees some days like that's that's insane i think in canada like a hot day is like 28 like maybe 30 but anyways here we are the next morning um slept like a baby last night oh my god like one of the best sleeps of my life just gonna take it easy this morning because i want to unpack get settled in like i don't want to just be Sometimes I just, when I travel, I like live out of my suitcase, but I just feel so much more organized when everything's like has a spot and put away. So I'm gonna do that later today. But yeah, I just wanted to have a relaxing morning. It's my coffee and my book outside. I'm so happy. adventure to Whole Foods right now. It's yeah. going to be crazy. Might get some organic chicken, <laughs> maybe some organic kale. You really don't know what's going to so, happen. <laughs> People are really excited for our travels. It's going to be crazy. Bring I need, the, We're bringing the drone. I know. I need to practice with the drone so I can get you surfing and not lose the drone in the ocean. I've been worried about that. Yeah, don't, don't lose the drone. I just got to practice. There it is. We made it. Oh my god, you can't even see the sign because of the trees. Happy place. I love this place. We're here to get robbed of all of our money. <laughs> what are you getting? Some wet fish and veggies. Mm. I wish I was hungry. Everything in the fridge dish. <laughs> feeling good van went to go get tacos which i'm so excited about yeah today was so fun i'm so exhausted like we did a really good job though at like hydrating ourselves the entire time like i drank so much water so i'm proud of myself for doing that we're supposed to go out tonight it's saturday but i just don't think we have it in us maybe once we get some tacos i'm excited for a chill day tomorrow oh my god
Kanye's documentary. I'm gonna start filming you. This filming is all my natural moments going crazy. I'm having an episode. Genius comes in a lot of flavors, yo. Put the windows down. I want to have the real experience. I'm not a rave. Marcella, we love you. idea. You're welcome. <laughs> Play, keep playing your cards right. We might come back. <laughs> Woohoo! Stay tuned for more exciting <laughs> footage from Van and Sky. Headless man. Sorry I'm tall and cool. <laughs> Happy Easter everybody. Oh yeah. Good morning everybody. Happy Monday. I just finished putting this vlog together. Some dog is screaming. And it's crazy how the busier you are, the shorter your vlogs are. Like, tell me how that makes sense. <laughs> From Wednesday to Sunday, I have created an 11 minute vlog. And some days, just an entire day of me talking is like a 30 minute vlog. So yeah, I was definitely shocked when I saw how short this vlog is, but as much as I've enjoyed this week so much, I definitely do miss sitting down and talking, and I definitely have some things coming, which are in the works that I'm super excited about. Definitely gotta get back to our deep chats because I miss it a lot. But something that I have been thinking about though lately, I feel like sharing because I feel like it might resonate. Um, is really just the fact that this is such a planet of duality. Like, I know I've talked about this before and I've talked about it on my podcast, but really everything that you can ever imagine is all happening at once. The worst evil things that you could think of are happening and the best, most blissful things are happening all right now on this exact same planet and you know, each of us individually can feel that within our own mentality. And I feel myself, um, whenever I feel like I'm drifting out of like a high vibe or, you know, I feel just tired or maybe more depressed or I'm not really pleased with my thoughts, it's like, it's so easy to just want to like forget it and just try to like bring myself back to a positive place, which is a great thing to practice and to do but higher consciousness knew that I was coming here knew that I was coming to this planet of duality knew that there would be good and evil and that I'd be able to feel both and who's to say feeling one is worse than the other it's just a feeling so it's like giving yourself that grace when you're just stuck in a low vibe or you know whatever it's just kind of normal and kind of the whole point of this human experience and without one we wouldn't have the other so yeah just be gentle with yourself especially if you're on a spiritual journey and you feel like you're doing so well and it's just like up 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 and then you have you know those low moments it's so necessary and it's so part of it and that's something I'm literally reminding myself like you know I can't always be on the highest vibe, on the highest frequency, feeling my absolute best. I need to feel those low points um, or have those low thoughts to be able to recognize what I don't want to think about and what I don't like and what I don't want to experience more of. How would you know if you couldn't experience it or think it, you know? Yeah. I just feel like summer's coming and I'm obviously traveling and there's so many things to be happy and excited about which i am but i still yeah just experience moments of like i don't know doubt and negative low vibe feelings and like it's normal just allow everything just surrender to everything watch your thoughts don't feed into them just observe them realize what they're trying to tell you what they're trying to bring up out of your body um and yeah be grateful for them i'm learning to just appreciate and be grateful for my low vibe moments um 
because they teach me so much about myself every single time I come out of them. So there's always a lesson to be learned, even when it just feels like, why, why, why am I thinking this way? Like, or why is this happening to me? Like, I was doing so good. Why this? Why now? I must be doing something wrong. I must not be meditating enough or, you know, whatever these excuses we tell ourselves. And like that in itself, critiquing ourselves is not you know surrendering to just feeling what's happening um but anyways i will leave you off with that it's definitely so weird i feel like you know with my life in canada and my life in the u.s it's so different um and then picking up vlogging again you know it's like my very chill not much to do cold weather self just loves to like sit and reflect and talk and then now here i am and beautiful sunny texas doing things all the time and it's just like finding that time to sit down and talk i think i just need to prioritize that because i do miss it um but hopefully you liked today's vlog um <clears throat> obviously i know it's a little bit everywhere um just kind of filmed what i could what i remembered to film that's all for today thank you so much for watching all my links are below per usual and i'll see you in the next vlog